to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. So you guys have asked for it. When I see you in the streets and when I see you around town, you guys are asking for more jackfruit recipes. So I got one for you this time. Today we're gonna make jerk jackfruit egg rolls. I'm gonna do it now, come with me. We're gonna use jackfruit in the can. Green jackfruit. So whenever you cook with jackfruit, because jackfruit usually when it's ripe, it's really sweet. You don't want your recipe to be sweet. You want more of a savory dish. So we're gonna use green jackfruit, young jackfruit, because it doesn't have any flavor. However, this jackfruit is in the can, and because it's in the can, it usually has like a little bit of a briny, canny taste. So we're gonna get rid of that. Now there's many methods for you to get rid of the briny taste. Mine is super easy. We're not gonna go through all that because we're gonna make this jackfruit jerk flavor. So the jerk, the, the spiciness from the jerk is gonna take away all that brininess, but we're still gonna soak it just to get rid of, you know, most of the briny taste. But if you've never seen jackfruit before, come on in, let me show you. That's what it looks like, and that's what it looks like in the can. So they cut it into little triangles. We're gonna break it down so we get the fibers. And the reason why we use jackfruit, especially uh, in plant-based meals, is because it mimics meat very well, especially chicken. So that's what it looks like. When it's cooked, it will mimic the fibers of meat, so it's perfect for this recipe. All right, this is how I do it. I'm gonna dump off the water, so let me just close it. I'm gonna dump off the briny water. Then I'm gonna place my jackfruit in a bowl, just like that. And I'm gonna just use some hot water from the tap. And I'm gonna let this jackfruit sit for about 10 minutes or so, just to get that brine in it. So I grabbed a large skillet, let's get heated up. All right, while that heats up, let's tend to the jackfruit. We're gonna to just toss that water off of our jackfruit. And we're gonna to try to get as much water as possible out of this fruit. So I'm gonna grab a kitchen towel. And this is my method. I know everyone has the, their way of doing it. Some people boil it. That's just too much work for me. As you can see, my recipes are very simple. I don't have the, all that time. I don't want to have all that time to just be in the kitchen cooking. So I place it in, in a kitchen towel just like that. And I just squeeze out all the water. This does double duty for me, because not only that it gets out most of the water, it also breaks down the jackfruit into little pieces, so I don't have to stand there and pull it apart. Once that's done, come in close so they can see, that's what the jackfruit looks like. So I dump it out of the kitchen cloth, it's broken down, and I'm just gonna place it right in the pan. All broken down, let's bring it to the other side over here. To my skillet, I'm going to add some oil, and this is just grapeseed oil. We're gonna get this jackfruit nice and cooked, almost to like a really brown texture. Now, jackfruit doesn't brown up very well, but we're gonna get it as close to brown as we can get it. All right, guys, come in so you can see. All right, take a look. This is the jackfruit. See, it started to get brown. So now that it's halfway where I need it to be, I am going to season it with some liquid aminos. This is my salt. And I'm gonna add jerk seasoning. Now this is from My Vegan Kitchen Life. This is my jerk seasoning. You can purchase it. I'll leave the link below. I make curry, jerk, and I also do an all-purpose seasoning. So we're gonna do a little bit of this jerk right on here. This is gonna give it the flavor that we're looking for. So season it up to your heart's content as much as you want the flavor of your uh, egg roll to be how spicy you want it to be. And I'm just gonna toss that around in the pan and get the seasoning to just melt into the jackfruit. We're gonna give this about a minute or two in the pan and then we're gonna move to the next step. All right, come on in. Two minutes or so have passed, and this is perfect. I already tasted it. It's so flavorful. It's so good. You could basically eat it right out of the pan. But this is what we're going to add next. We're going to just add a package of 
cabbage, red cabbage and regular the um, green cabbage. I also have some carrot pieces in here, but you're gonna get whatever you desire. So if you just want regular green cabbage, just use regular green cabbage. I like when my food has a little bit of color, so it's not just, you know, so gray. So that's why I use the multicolored pack. Now, I'm just gonna let this cabbage steam down. I'm not gonna let it fully cook to, until it gets really soft. I'm gonna still leave some firmness to it. So I'm just gonna toss it around in the pan and allow the heat to really get through it. Once it gets to a texture that I desire, which is like a medium firmness, I'm gonna taste it and make sure that the cabbage and the, the uh, jackfruit is seasoned well. All right guys, we're just gonna turn the flame off on this and we're gonna remove the skillet from the stove and just let it cool down. We wanna get it to room temperature so it's not too hot when we fill our egg roll wrappers. All right guys, so while the jackfruit and the cabbage mixture is cooling down, I started to heat up my oil that I'm gonna fry my egg rolls in. However, a um, wok, because it's a little deeper and the oil is able to, there's more oil for deep frying, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna let that start to warm up on medium. Let's take this over to this side. Okay, we're gonna use Nasoya's egg roll wrappers. These you can find anywhere. They're in almost every grocery store. And guess what, they're vegan. Who knew all these years? I had no idea they were vegan. But I see now that they put it on the package makes it a lot easier for us to recognize it, right? So they come like that, just sheets, all right? We're gonna place one on a cutting board or a surface that you can work from. Now we're gonna grab our filling. And this is what it looks like. So come in so I can show you. It should be on the drier side. You don't want it too oily or too wet because then it'll, you'll have a soggy egg roll. So if you notice it's on the drier side, I'm just using a spoon and I'm gonna place my filling right in the center. And I'm just gonna use two spoonfuls and I'm gonna place it right in the center. You see my jackfruit, my chicken or whatever you wanna call it, pork, beef, whatever you wanna pretend it is, you can do that. I'm gonna take my um, wrapper and I'm just gonna fold it over. Then I'm gonna take the corner, fold that over, fold the other corner over, and then I'm gonna roll it tight. That's my egg roll. So that's one down. I'm gonna place it on the side. We have a couple more to go. I'm still going. <laughs> We're almost at the last one. And this is the last one. So it looked like it made about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good number. Eat the jackfruit bar. Mm. Why not, right? <laughs> so we were able to make eight egg rolls. Let's move to the other side and get these fried up. My my flame is on medium. Let's start to drop these babies in, come in close. All right, one's going in. There we go. And let's put another one in. And there we go. Guys, look like our egg rolls are done. I didn't want you to go through the process to see me fry each one, but look at that. They're all done. Let's turn that flame off because it's time to taste my favorite part. <laughs> all right, our egg rolls are done, guys. That was an easy recipe, right? Super easy. It didn't take any really thought at all. Um, let's taste it. I'm trying to find one that's not as hot. Let's try this one, nice and golden. We break it open, there you go. There's your cabbage, there is your jackfruit. I have some dipping sauce, and this is a store-bought chili sauce, guys. You could use whatever dipping sauce you want. I like the sweet and the hot together, the spicy. So here we go, let's taste this bad boy. Mm. That is you guys. We made ourselves some egg rolls on our own at home. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And this is super inexpensive to make. Cabbage is inexpensive. The egg roll wrappers are very inexpensive. You get like a thousand of them for like $3. It's crazy. 
and jackfruit is inexpensive. Try this recipe, guys. This is great for holiday appetizers or if you're just sitting around watching the game or whatever, right? I'm not gonna chew this because I'm always trying to chew and talk. Thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click on the link below. Also, remember to tap on the bell. And thanks again, guys, for joining me for joining me in my kitchen another week for another great, super easy, delicious, and tasty recipe. Bye, guys.